Okay. Real quick, ladies and gentlemen, let's just go through a quick little representation. All right, so maybe we can get an idea. Ladies and gentlemen, um, does anybody know z to the 1 half? That is equivalent to, as a radical form, what? With the square root of z, right? OK. So ladies and gentlemen, let's just pretend, forget about the rational fractions. Let's first pretend I could rewrite this, right? 2 to the square root of z divided by the square root of z minus 1. Ladies and gentlemen, we had a square root in our denominator. What did we have to do? Multiply by the rhymes with conjugate. Conjugate, right? So we had to multiply by the square root of z again, plus 1. And we did that on the top and the bottom, right? Now, again, what is the difference between the square root of z and z to the 1 half power? Is there any difference to them? No, their value is the same. The only difference, actually, is though just their form. So we're not dealing with our radicals. But you guys should notice that just like we can't divide by a root on the bottom, we can't divide by a number with a rational exponent. So what do you think would be the conjugate of z to the 1 half minus 1? z to the 1 half plus 1. And that's exactly, ladies and gentlemen, of what we're going to want to do. So you're going to multiply by the conjugate z to the 1 half plus 1. Then we apply distributive property. All right, And then here, this is going to be a difference of two squares. So when we apply dif uh, distributive property over here, I get 2z to the 1 half plus 1 half. Right? Because when you multiply, you add their exponents. Then can I get this back again? I get, then I get 2z um, to the 1 half over, this is a difference of two squares, so I need only need to make sure I multiply my first and my last two terms. So z to the 1 half times z to the 1 half is going to be z to the 1 half plus 1 half, and then minus 1. Now I go and simplify. And I'll turn my back over this way, because I guess it doesn't matter. So 2 to the z to the 1 half plus 1 half is going to be 1, plus 2 to the z to the 1 half divided by 1 half plus 1 half is 1. So z to the first power minus 1. Now we don't need to write these first powers up there, so I'll leave it like that. Now are we dividing by a rational exponent? No. So that's going to be, and we can't combine any more like terms, so that's going to be our simplified version. OK? Cool? Questions? No? I guess some people aren't interested in that.